Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So I want to show you guys a couple of very interesting news stories today that prove once again just how mainstream the UFO and alien topic is going with more and more people from the academic side, more scientists, physicists, astrophysicists that are seriously looking into this phenomenon and the very real fact that we are being visited by something from off planet. And so before we get to those stories, real quick, I haven't featured uh, any stories regarding the mystery booms in a while, and so here's a new one, this time out of Cleveland, Ohio, where we had a news story posted on Cleveland 19 News asking the question, what was the loud boom in Illyria last night? It goes on to say, quote, several people in and around Illyria are talking about a deep, loud, house-shaking boom that occurred Wednesday night just after 9 p.m. And uh, as you guys can see here, multiple posts to social media by people around the area, many of which describing it as a, quote, deep boom or deep rumble as if it was coming from up and underneath them something deep in the ground uh, one here says around 9 15 p.m heard it from the southeast side of illyria it sounded like it was southwest of us and a loud deep boom another said quote hello i heard it from illyria grafton a deep rumble Another one, quote, I heard the big boom around 9-ish. It shook my entire trailer and scared me and my children. And finally, quote, a friend of mine next to the police station said it shook his whole building. And so the local Cleveland 19 News said that they checked with the fire department. No reports of any explosions or things like that. Other local residents reported seeing a bright flash in the distance that almost looked like lightning, but basically wasn't. There was no storm, no rain, no uh, no reason for it, no follow-up lightning. So really strange. Again, haven't reported any of the mystery booms in a while, but they have continued. Loud, shaking rumbles that don't seem to be registering on the Richter scale uh, or are being covered up, one of the two, but these things are almost like earthquakes, shaking houses, sometimes accompanied by bright flashes up in the sky, but would almost seem to be emanating from deep underground, as if something is going on down there. So, very interesting. Cleveland, Ohio, anybody out there experience this, put your comment down below, and uh, we'll continue to follow it. So, now on to the main topic of today's video, in which there are two news stories that I want to bring to your attention the first of which comes from NBC News with the title, quote, Why Alien Megastructures May Hold the Key to Making Contact with Extraterrestrials. And the article basically goes on to describe how looking for evidence of what are called Dyson Spheres, or basically massive alien megastructures out in space, would be more of a good use of time than simply listening for random radio signals and transmissions out in space. And if you guys remember, over the years I've done multiple videos about these so-called Dyson Spheres. Probably the, the biggest story that brought the theory of Dyson Spheres into the public eye happened a couple of years ago where I had posted a video about uh, how astronomers were watching a star. And they noticed that the light coming from this star started to dim exponentially. And it was dimming as if something was in front of the star or almost being built around the star. Because most stars, if you have something like a moon or a planet that passes in front of them, the brightness from that star that we can detect will dim a little bit, but not much. Usually, if a planet passes in front of a star, the brightness usually dips by around 1%. However, astronomers were checking out this star and were perplexed by the fact that its brightness was taking dips of around 20 plus percent, suggesting that something massive was zooming or, or revolving around the star, creating this really strange pattern of light that they had never seen. So that's where the theory of the Dyson Sphere came, uh, which is that basically if you had this very advanced alien race, they would have the technology to build these massive alien structures around a star in order to harness its energy. 
Uh, think of uh, millions or billions of solar panels being built around a star, and that'll kind of give you an idea of what a Dyson sphere would be. It's just a basic, uh, massive alien structure. And then later on, they discovered a second star that was having these huge dips in light. After researchers reported that over 78 days of observations, the star displayed irregular dimming of up to 65% for around 25 consecutive days in a row. So the light from the second star was dipping upwards of 70%. I mean, that is unheard of and can't be explained by simple dust or moons or planets passing in front of it. So basically what this new article is stating is that searching for these alien megastructures would be more fruitful than simply looking for radio transmissions or listening for radio transmissions. So very interesting article. I will put this down below. The second news report I want to bring to your attention is in regards to a Montana tech professor who has put forth the theory and believes that he has evidence that UFOs, or most of them, are nothing more than us uh, in time machines from the future, uh, which is a theory that's been put forth by many of you guys uh, over the years and definitely would make sense. And one of the key pieces of evidence that leads this professor to this theory is that when most people report these close encounters with aliens, they always seem to describe them in the same way, which was that they're all upright, walking, they have five fingers on each hand and foot, bilateral symmetry, and they have two eyes, a mouth, a nose, and can communicate with us in our own languages. And so the tech professor, who goes by the name of Michael P. Masters, who has a doctorate in anthropology from Ohio State University, is defending that theory in his new book with the title, quote, Identified Flying Objects. An anthropology professor at Montana Tech in Butte has written a book with some pretty out-of-this-world views on the UFO phenomenon. NPN's John Amy tells us about a professor who believes in identified <laughs> flying to objects. Some people believe UFOs visit Earth from planets far, far away. But a Montana Tech professor believes UFOs are much closer to home. The phenomenon may be our own distant descendants coming back through time to study us in their own evolutionary past. Masters writes about this theory in his latest book, Identified Flying Objects. With a doctorate in anthropology from Ohio State University, Masters uses science to explain why people who report close encounters with aliens always describe them the same way. These extra tempestrials are ubiquitously reported as being bipedal, upright walking, having five fingers on each hand and foot, the same way that we do, bilateral symmetry, that they have you know, two eyes, a mouth, a nose, they can communicate with us in our own languages. And so, yeah, the theory that aliens are nothing more than humans, but from hundreds of thousands or millions of years in the future, definitely seems to hold water, specifically because of the way they look. They seem to have many of the same features as humans do, albeit they've evolved over the years. And many of these UFOs or unidentified flying objects may very well be some sort of time machines from the future. It could be us coming back to observe or, or coming back to help us in some way, to intervene. And there could be so many reasons behind it that it's just too many to speculate. So tell me what you guys think down below. I'll put the link to this article as well as the article on the Dyson Spheres. You guys check them out, but just goes to show this topic is is definitely going mainstream. We have more and more uh, scientists and astrophysicists talking about it openly, and I definitely think that that shows uh, we've made progress and validates the fact that this is not just a theory or some conspiracy, but a very real phenomenon. So tell me what you all think down below. Thank you again for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe, share, and stay tuned for more strange and mysterious news from around the world. And I will see you guys back in just a bit.